In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design a business card. And not only that, I'm going to show you how to mock it up and make it look so presentable like this one. And all this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video as you're already away. I'm currently writing exam, but I don't want YouTube to kick me out of their system, so I decided to drop this one real quick. All right, so let's get started. First of all, we're going to file and then new, and then we're going to set the size for business card. Actually, I'm going to use the inches, and then I'm going to set here to 3.5, and the height is going to be 2. That is the standard size for business card. All right, so I'm going to click OK and then actually I'm using this I'm going to use a particular um, logo over here that is Alliance in Motion M, M Global right so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to select my rectangle and then I'm going to draw a rectangle from here you can decide on how you want how long you want the rectangle to be like so you draw the first rectangle over here and then here we're going to place our logo over there basically i'm going to pick the colors from my logo so i want to bring the logo in first in order to make sure i have the actual colors to be used so i bring the logo over here and then i transform it to fit very well so in this place you can also replace your logo over there the reason why i said i'm extracting everything that is the colors from this logo that is why i actually brought it in first so i'll go back to my rectangle double click on here and then i'm going to change the color so what i do is i'll place my keza on this one it basically switches the two to the eyedropper two so you can pick that color over there so i pick it up from here and then i think this is too bright a little too bright for me so let me try to go down small like that or oh, let's see something like this right i think this looks good okay so let's try and position this one over here and that one too okay so what we're going to do next is i'm going to pick the rectangle two again and then i'm going to draw another rectangle by this time around it is going to cover this place so i'm going to change the color to white i just want it to cover this particular place for me so this is how it is going to be like so it is basically creating some sort of design for me, right? Okay, so next I'll go back to my rectangle and then I duplicate it. I press in Ctrl J. So I'll pick the rectangle beneath it. So if you press Ctrl T and then you rotate it small, you're going to see that you have the other one switch over here. But then since it is also blue color, you can't actually see it. so what we do is we double click on that too and then we pick the second color so it is more or less like a blue and yellow uh, a blue and green color okay so let's try to go like this also we don't want that much green so we can rotate this one also very small like that and there you go so you create some sort of design for you additionally you can also create another rectangle over here press ctrl t and then you rotate that rectangle also so this is what you have okay so we change the color from green to the blue color and then we try to rotate it small it is more or less like yeah trying to give it a unique design it's not anything big deal you can just leave it if you want your design to be very simple and plain so i'm going to duplicate that also and then press ctrl t to transform it and then i'll place it somewhere here okay so that one i'm going to change the color back to this one to green so that i'll have something like this and then i'll place it beneath it so that it'll be like this so it gives you basically like a design all right so the next thing that we're going to do we're going to place our test so i'm going to select the test tool and then i'm going to start to type over here but then i'm going to use the font a vertical insert i'll put the link in the description so you can check it out and then i'm going to type the name that is the first thing so probably let me use my name for this one 
So afterwards, I press Ctrl T to transform it very neatly. It depends on how you just want to arrange your name and stuff. It, you just have to do it like this. And then over here, since we are using AIM Global, what we're going to do is we're going to write here, let's say distributor, right? So distributor like that. And then I'm going to change the font to Acrobat. And I'm going to use the semi bold or bold either of them so you try to position that one also somewhere around here so you take your time to position it i'm just using the colors that will reflect to their logo right so if you are using let's say a red and white logo you can just change the colors to make it up all right so next we're going to add a telephone location and then probably an email and then i I have these things these symbols over here actually i downloaded them from um, google some time ago but then i lost them so i just picked it up from one of my works but you can type let's say phone shapes and other stuff you can get them on google okay so i'm going to select these two that is the shape and this one and i'm going to send them over here so what i do is I change the color to white so that it will be more visible for everyone to see and then I'm going to select the two I'm going to transform it down like this and then I'll go back to my shapes and then I'll pick this particular you're going to use this for the email in case you don't have uh, you are using a different color and then you want to give it a color you just right click on this you rasterize the layer you go to blending option and then color overlay and then you can make it a color or you can give it a color a different color that you want just like that so in this case i'm using white so i'm good to go i can maintain it that way i'm going to need the help of my rulers to draw a very clean um, alignment for this one i'm giving it a very clean alignment so i want to make sure that all these are in line and then i'm going to bring this one down over here and then send my shape uh, the location shape over here so i'm going to change that one to blue so that the location will be somewhere different from the rest okay so next i'm going to add test to this so the phone that is the call and then the email and everything so what I do is I go back to pick my test tool and I start to type. So once you're done, you press Ctrl T to transform it basically like that. And then we're going to change this one to something, let's say semi-bold, right? So that it wouldn't be all that bold, just like the other one. So afterwards, you can position it over here. Let me send this one up small like here so you take this one to up over there and then you press ctrl t to make a duplicate and then you bring it here and then here you're going to type in your email in this case i'm using my other email now after this what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this one also and then we send it over here but this time around we're going to change the color so that it wouldn't be white so we change the color to blue in order to fit that particular um, color since that place is already white so we're going to change this one also to let's say university all right so you take your time to position that one to over here so it reads like your contact over here your email and then your location so that will be basically it you are done with your business card now the real question is how do you represent it on a mock-up to make it look more appealing especially if you are presenting it as a portfolio or something like that to make it quite attractive for people to look at it well i'm going to take you through that one so let's quickly go to the folder over here i have a couple of mock-ups over here the one thing is you can actually download an editable mock-up online but i don't want us to go that way we are just going to use this particular mock-ups they are not editable they are basically like pictures okay so let's drag one of them in here and then let's post or let's place it over here 
so these are the mockup it has already been arranged what we are going to do is that we're going to place our image on top over here to make it look like it belongs to us of course this was downloaded from this particular site so i'll put the link in the description if you want to check it out now this is how you go about it first of all in this case you have to make sure you have an image size that is very high the resolution because when you download it from online it is very low so you have a resolution that is higher so let's go about 200 so that what we're going to do it wouldn't affect our image so the first thing you do is you pick your pen tool okay and then you make sure that you have here to be shaped right and then you start to draw so you are drawing basically all your are, you are tracing over the edges of these particular business cards so you start from here and then you get to the very tip the very edge and then you click there to so you come to this place and then you left click what right i'm basically left clicking so you get to this point too and then you left click and then you come back to the initial point so here it has created a shape for you okay you can actually change the color any how you want it it has created a shape for you but how do you actually feel that this particular shape with your business card all right so let's move to the next step you right click on the shape that has been created and convert it to a smart object okay so when you convert it to a smart object this is what you see or this is what you have so you double click on a smart object and then it opens in another document for you all right so let's go back to our image you can first of all save this as a jpeg on your desktop or anywhere or you can use the shortcut shift control alt and then e to create a merge like you merge it all together so if you move it around this is what moves so you send it over to the shape that you've created all right so what we're going to do from here is that we're going to transform this particular image to fit the shape that we've created so we can do that by first of all transforming this one and then you try to rotate it like that over here and then you take your time too but if you don't want to stress yourself and you want to save some time after pressing ctrl t you right click and you go to distort okay so distort what you're going to do is you're going to drag this area to that point you drag this area also to that point you just basically be dragging it to the various edges and then you drag this one to here so it gives you the very size that you want so this is what we are having now you just have to make sure none of the areas are lacking you just have to take your time uh because of this tutorial like we will, we will maintain this one but when you are doing it you just have to take your time so you take okay from here and then you press ctrl s to save so if you watch my video on either smart object or mockups you can see or you can relate to this one so let's right click on this and go to close so when you get back to our business card this is what we have isn't that amazing so you can take the same procedure the same step in doing for this one after doing everything you can turn off this background and then you can replace it you can basically press ctrl j to duplicate this and then you shift it up small like that you press again and then you shifting it so that it creates one for yourself and then afterwards when you add a background to it like let's say this one you're going to see that let me send this to the down there you can see that it has been creating the mockups for you so that is how you can design a business card and create a mockup for yourself i hope this video was helpful if it was let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts and in case you try this out don't forget to share it up on our page facebook page or you can email it anyhow and then we talk about that thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video and sorry for keeping this very long i hope you got something really cool from this one 
thank you so much for watching and i'll get back to you with another one so it's innocent here bye